When you were playing that record, what were you thinking? So the crazy thing is, me and Tim went to middle school, high school, and college together. And in college, that's when we became pretty good friends. And we talked about, because we were in film school, we talked about moving to Los Angeles and pursuing it here. So the crazy thing is that we actually followed up with that, what, three years later? Yeah. It took us some time, but we actually made the move. And you guys are about to see the next step. All right, so my next step is, I'm taking all this stuff, throwing it in my minivan, I'm gonna live in there for a while. I'm gonna live on the beach, I'm gonna hang out with Justin. So, all my stuff. Oh, it's echoey in here now. <laughs> I can't forget my office plaque. I'm putting my needle. Let's just say I'm about to have a new office. <sighs> this was my very first apartment. Uh, I'm beginning of quarantine. I didn't think I could afford a $500 spare room. And then, it's a crazy story, actually. So I moved here in the beginning of quarantine, but this, this apartment complex has a gym, sauna, pool, a hot tub. I never got to use any of them. Thanks a lot, COVID. Uh, tell my vlog what we're oh, doing yeah. today. I haven't even told them what I, I'm, what I did. They just know I moved out of my apartment today. We're, we're moving into an amazing house. In my opinion, the best house in LA. And, I think uh, it's the nicest house here on the yeah. boardwalk. Yeah, yeah. Today's the moving day, right on the beach. There's gonna be a lot of us living in this house. Nine bedrooms. But we have a 26 foot U-Haul to unload, so we better go cracking. This is absolutely crazy that none of this would have happened if I chose to give up and move back to Chicago in the beginning of the year. Like, I was 99% sure I was gonna do. Well, that doesn't work. That is very unsafe. That kind of hurt. Um, but yeah, I, I moved in here with some of the coolest people ever. But yeah, as soon as you walk out the front door, you're on the beach. I still have no idea how I got here. I'm vlogging. Oh, you're vlogging? I'm back. Oh, so dope. I'm the, this next chapter. That's awesome. One of my housemates. I'm one of the housemates. Oh, whoa, this is cool. You remember, he's, a, he's one of the people that convinced me to stay here. Yeah, what's up? I'm like a couple of videos. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> now we have him in our family, in our house, and we're stoked to have him. He's the youngest one, which is a good thing. Um, he's like the breath of fresh air that like revives and revitalizes our, uh, our joy for like why we do what we do. So this is cool. But in all seriousness, MTV Crips tour fast now. All right, so yo, check it out. That's my dog, four thousand dollar dog. Don't worry about it. Don't ask. That's my couch, two thousand dollar couch. Don't worry about that. This is my table. That's actually a table straight from Bali. Teak wood weighs about five thousand pounds. Piano. Don't really play it, but rich people have pianos, and so I thought I'd buy a piano. Um, this is. We don't know who this is actually. I don't know who this is. I just walked in the door. Great. This is uh, this is yourself because the mirror is now. That's you. Million Stairs. It's a big house. I'm tired, yo. And rich people, we take naps all the time. So I'm out. Check it out. We'll see you later, Cribs. MTV, get out of my house. So there are some obstacles besides, you know, rent being a little bit more on the expensive side. You have to be vegan. I'm, I wasn't vegan, but now I have to be. It's a house rule. I mean, this, this stuff tastes horrible. So I can kind of show you guys some of the house that is ready. This is gonna be our theater room and also my photo studio when we bought the couches. But yeah, this is Lucas, one of my roommates. What's up, y'all? So this isn't an official house tour because we're still moving everything. And now time to see my room. So this is how you know it's my room from my old apartment. Still being unpacked, so it's still a little of a mess, but this is it. And I have my balcony here, which is freaking crazy. I ate my breakfast here this morning. I see who comes in and out, like the security here, I guess. One of my biggest rules is surround yourself with the best people possible, and moving here 
kind of enabled that I'm closer to some of my best friends. They live in the same area. Before I was driving like 40 minutes every day to go see them. And now we're not too far apart and surrounding myself with the best people possible like here. Like these are new people I'm getting to know and they're great. They're some of the coolest people I've ever met and like-minded individuals. Surround, sur surround yourself with people that push you forward rather than set you back or hold you back. Don't be afraid of change because that's what life is. Just It's constantly going to the next chapter, to the next chapter and moving forward rather than getting too comfortable and staying in place. I moved here to do YouTube and it's always been a pursuit on how I'm gonna do this. Who am I gonna do this with? Because I never wanted to do YouTube alone, but now I'm closer to some of my best friends. And yeah, life continues to get better if you allow it to. Don't be afraid of those big jumps, those small jumps, because those are the best parts of life.